A big sigh of relief is coming from Warner Brothers. The film studio's Lego movie is a smash hit at the box office, and the dollars are stacking up. <laughs> Our movie man Eric Childress is here to talk about Lego. Yeah. Well, last week we were talking about that we were expected it's going to hit 200 million. It's probably going to do that this weekend. So now it's the question of what it could, whether it can hit 300 million, and I think it can. 300 million audiences are loving it. Take yeah. a look at the numbers from last weekend at the box office. Clearly, number one coming in at 62 million dollars, followed by about last night, which you also predicted would mm -hmm. have strong numbers, and it did. And then there's RoboCop, The Monuments Men, and Endless Love. But one thing you notice on the screen: Sony, Sony, Sony. <laughs> yeah, and it's sort of, sort of a good news, bad news front for Sony. I mean, about last night, produced on a 13 million dollar budget. That's obviously already in the black. It's a very big hit for Sony. Uh, Robocop, that's another question. I mean, it's doing pretty pretty well overseas. I think the American numbers are going to you know, see those dip quite a bit this weekend. So you know, they're probably hoping for maybe a break-even situation, co-financed with MGM, who originally had the film. And Monuments Men, that's a film that's really going to need some overseas numbers. It's already George Clooney's biggest grocer as a director, uh, but it's a film that's really going to need some push overseas to really make the budget for that movie. Coming up this weekend, a couple of new films hitting the silver screen, Three Days to Kill. Mm. And Pompeii. I have seen movie trailers for both. Mm -hmm. Three Days to Kill yeah. tells me almost nothing about the film. Yeah, and it's actually telling you not the entire story of the movie. I mean, the movie looks, looks like Kevin Costner is an assassin. He's got three days to kill, and Amber Heard is his handler. But there's another story involved, and Haley Steinfeld's uh, character was, plays his daughter in the movie, and she's got this illness, and he's actually you know trying to get this you know this cure for her in these three days to save her life while he's out killing. And Pompeii, oh boy, Paul W.S. Anderson is responsible for the Resident Evil movies and some of the worst movies, uh, out, genre movies out there, and doing a romantic movie set around, you know, Mount Vesuvius and whatnot. I don't know if anyone wants to see this movie or needs to see this movie. It's February, we're still in that, that doldrum period, so just go see the Lego movie. Forget about the two new releases. The studios are hiding it from critics. Just go see the Lego movie. Right, Pompeii, that movie trailer is just very dramatic with the yeah. music and very flowy, mm -hmm. but again, not enough really to entice Well, me. it's just it's going to be a romance movie for the first half of the movie, then the volcano's going to explode and everyone's going to be running for lava. So. And then we're sad. Right. So over the weekend, <laughs> I saw a couple of great films mm -hmm. on Red Fox, my friend. Yeah. Captain Phillips. Yeah, after and six enough Oscars. Said. Yeah, two movies that uh, you know, we'll be talking about next week in the Oscars, not enough said because the absence, you know, the omission of James Gandolfini not being nominated is kind of a shame. He was terrific. He was terrific. He should have been nominated. And Captain Phillips up for six Oscars uh, might have a shot at the one or two. Uh, but Tom Hanks not getting nominated is still one of the big stories, One of the probably the biggest snub for me as far as I'm concerned. I was sitting on the edge of my seat with Captain Phillips. Yeah, <laughs> and the last, last scene, you know, he should have been nominated for that. It was awesome. Yep. Thanks for being on the show, Eric. Thank you.